what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can add video to your ios app so if you take a look at this demo app we have here we open it up and we have this nice train video now i've actually muted the volume so you guys can see it and not have the volume come through but we'll take a look at how to manage the volume and we'll also have a bonus way to play the video towards the end of this video that being said, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, get Xcode ready, and let's get into it. So first things first, we need to create a new Xcode project. We're going to stick with our single view application, and we're going to call this project video player. Let's save it on our desktop and get into it. So the very first thing we need to do is bring a video into the project. And I have this train video that I grabbed from YouTube. So we're just going to actually drag this video into the project like so and make sure to check this box to include the video in this target, which is our app. Hit enter. It'll copy it in and you'll see it here like so. It's a video of a train just passing by. And let's go to our view controller and start implementing how to get this on the screen. So let's pick our simulator of choice, hit command R you'll see an empty app open up like so. And let's get into this. So the first thing we need to do is import two frameworks that Apple has provided. And those are AVK and AV Foundation. And as the name implies, these frameworks give us access to auto, audio and video objects and operations. One of the objects that we're gonna be leveraging is the AV player. So let's override the function view did appear call super view did appear we want view did appear not disappear and let's talk about the first way we're going to show the video so we're actually going to cover two ways as that implies the first one is just show the video with a frame on the screen in the same view controller to do that we need to create a player and that player is going to be an av player with a url and we're going to create a URL with a file path and file URL with path. The string is going to be bundle dot main path for contents, not just contents path for resource rather. That's what I meant. And the resource name is train. And if you look up here, the type of this resource is M four V. So we just put train for the resource name. And for its type over here, we want this to be M4V. And don't forget to put an exclamation point at the end of it because it is an optional and it'll give you an error if you don't. So notice we don't put train.m4v, we just put the name of the resource and the type. The next thing we need is an object that can actually render this player to our view. And there's a player layer object. So let's call this layer and it's an AV player layer. It gets instantiated with a player. Simply pass in our player from above. The next thing we need to do is set the layers frame. And this is going to be the entirety of the screen. So layer uh, frame is view.bounds. And finally, let's add this as a sub layer to our views layer. Finally, before we run the app, we're going to do player.play. So let's hit command R to build and run. And you'll see our train video playing in the middle here, like so. So let's talk about a few more properties that really give us the ability to customize this player. The first one is there is a video gravity, and this allows us to basically scale and resize the video. So if I wanted the video to take up the entirety of the screen, but also maintain its aspect ratio, we would go with this option. And let's say we want to use this video as a background to one of our screens, and we don't want the volume, so we can just set the player's volume to zero. Hit command R one more time. Now we have this awesome train passing by in the background. And if we wanted to, we can layer labels and images and other stuff on top of this. Uh, as we need and as we see fit. So that's how you render a basic player. Now let's get rid of all of this 
and talk about one other way we can present videos. So there is a view controller called AV Player View Controller, and it is basically, as the name implies, a controller that Apple gives us that is capable of playing videos. And all we need to do is assign its player property, like so, and we can present the view controller with an animation similar to any other view controller. And as you can see, there's far less code here, but we do get the video in a different screen that pops up, like so, and we can hit play. So this is definitely sufficient if you want this design, but let's say you're building an app like YouTube where you want the video to be a section on a controller and you want to customize the things around it, you really would need to leverage the player layer and customize your screen. So that being said, that's all we had for you guys today. I'll be uploading this source code to GitHub. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done already, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment if you have a question and I'll see you in the next one.